Hey everybody, my name is Jericho. You saw the title of the video, you know what it's going to be about. Not enough Chainsaw Man discourse, so here's my opinions on my favorite volume covers. If you have any differing opinions, don't get upset, just put them in the comments and let's get into it, okay? First up, volume number one. Now, I love this volume. This is such a great volume <laughs> cover. <laughs> this, is, this is all the video, it's just going to be me saying this is a great volume cover, but it really is. I think if you had to take a look at like the great volume one covers across all the major series i think there's a lot of criteria that you got to hit you got to have it's got to be striking it's got to encapsulate exactly what the series is going to be about it's got to be visually striking and i think you get the full package with the first volume of chainsaw man one okay it's so good it's so good and there's nothing more visually striking than a man with three chainsaws coming out of his body and I think you get exactly what you're looking for with this series. I put it up there with like great volume covers of like My Hero Academia Volume 1, Naruto Volume 1, and I'm ranking it S tier. This is great. Fantastic volume cover. Okay. It's not as vibrant. I do like the power. I like power as, the, as a character. Fantastic character. I love the blood scythe. That's really good. <laughs> that's, that's great. In keeping what was happening with the first volume where Chainsaw Man's chainsaws are coming out of him and erupting from his body, we have power manipulating blood and it's become a scythe. Very good, very, very good. The colors, um, I do like the like the kind of duller green. It's even more dull in the physical volume. It's that I'm ranking them as they show up, by the way, too. So I don't like this one as much as the volume one cover. I love, I love the character. I love the idea. I love the motif so far of using the weapon but it's not as good as the second it's not as good as the first volume so i'm gonna put it like underneath it as if it matters but like i said it's all opinions based so let's keep it going volume three this is a banger volume like the contents in it are so good um this is probably when i started to like fall in love with the the series prior like proper like i was super invested with everything that happened in this volume and then going forward because i just felt hooked at this point in terms of the volume cover though i love imano i don't really know what's going on with the leaves i the color scheme great green yellow ish kind of like that filthy mucky green yellow i love that Pose is good. We've we've lost the motif of like weapons being represented with the character, because uh, Jimeno's devil is kind of like a go. It's, it's named Ghost, and it's kind of a hand. So I guess the hand placement on the face is is good, but it's not it's not as good as Volume One. Like if we compare the motif and I, I, I don't know why I've suddenly made the motif of like the weapon being involved have to be like a big criteria it is not I like this one even less than the second one with volume one stone being god tier so I'm putting this after the second one there's not going to be any bad volumes of chainsaw man by the way so like they're all they're all s and a but there are ones that I feel like are, are better I just like them better now here we go Okay, this is a banger of a cover. This this is a phenomenal cover. I love everything about this. Aki fully just he's got his own cover. It's the you know, it's the I, I, you don't you don't have to use too much brain power to figure out what's happening. Like it's blood stained, you know, there's a bullseye, there's a target, he's going after the gun devil, just every everything's both like subtextually there but also just there like you you, I, you doesn't need any explanation for how good this is but in terms of the color design the like everything on the exterior is is blue and then the, the further you get into the image the more red until it's like you know dead center is the bullseye red that bright bloody chainsaw man i have the physical volume because this is the uh, the latest one that's been out and like it's just as good it looks just as clean up close than it does online um yeah no this is phenomenal this is and it's like it's almost like a snapshot it feels like the the way the lighting is uh hitting the character's face it looks like this was a picture of him just like either committing a murder or like 
having just witnessed one very good in terms of the progression i think there's there's actually a, a real linear or whatever whatever this is called a sloping upwards progression of how dope the covers get um as we're about to see but i definitely think the fourth one so far is i love it even more than the first one especially uh, like physically too i actually way way prefer the fourth one physically than the first one physically if i had to keep looking at them volume five volume five volume five is so good this this is phenomenal this is a banger this is so clean i can't wait to own this this is this is god tier like who else who else is doing it like this there's that one cover of volume uh of my hero academia it's like the one with hawks um and i think it's almost like it's got some sort of historical reference of like a bunch of that duplicate character coming up and trying to grab him that's awesome it's also reminiscent of like that one scene in hunter hunter where it's like a bunch of crollo zombies puppets trying to get him but but none of them are like this this is this is phenomenal <laughs> why did i go on that tangent this is this is so great i love it katana man just crashing down on chainsaw man the blood I love I, I bet that when the anime comes out in order to get around some of the censorship I bet they're gonna use like ha uh, oddly colored blood like it'll just be you know super bright colored blood and look at these guts normally if you have like a you know there are certain shows that like get real gutsy like literally gutsy it's just spines and everywhere intestines everywhere and I think that like you, you know you get a, a rating for that based on something but I think the way I hope that the way they kind of like sidestep that is that they just make everything super brightly colored because I, I mean I've heard like people comment about the the cereal boxiness and yeah I don't the font or like the that kind of presentation not not my favorite but I love how unique it is uh, and like in terms of a cohesive theme uh, and like for for as dark as the sh as the series gets it just becomes more vibrant and there's like nothing cooler than that like the the actual what do you call that the contrast of those two things coming together like you could color this volume and make it like um like Zack Snydery or uh that one the Hannibal show like put that theme onto it like and then you can make you can crunch all the blacks and desaturate and make it like as kind of drab looking as a dc film but instead you know fujimoto and, and crew or whatever just decided to make this the most vibrant looking thing ever and i love it this this is fun this is fantastic this is like the first volume like the next evolution of that volume of how much i enjoy it and how much it like builds upon what the first volume cover did and granted like as it should because the first volume is the first volume this is the fifth one it should be like Hopefully your series keeps going better and as this one does, the covers also do get better. So this one, God tier. I love this one. Volume 5. I love it more than Volume 4. I can't, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to own this one. Alright, but Volume 6, <laughs> Fujimoto was in a, in a different bag. He was, he was hitting something different by the time he got to Volume 6. Um, I actually haven't taken a, a very deep look into this volume cover um, for like obvious reasons but um aside from the obvious i did not really take a look into the details of the background yet i love the bomb devil like that certainly alien reference this the chainsaw man being represented in purple and like or just rather the contrast of those colors and i also do love the colors more than volume two i think volume two and three certainly and i love the idea and how it pulls everything everything together so i think i'm going to put this ahead of volumes two and three volume seven this is a really good depiction of what goes on in this volume this volume i assume is like the assassination arc it's so messy there's so much going on in all the best ways it's you know representing like the the once again, if, if the series, like when it gets adapted, goes ahead and makes everything super vibrantly colored and all these, all the intestines that are just like rampant throughout the, the volumes, I mean, I mean, through the series and it, they adapt it with all this vibrancy, it will be so visually striking. It will be like nothing else I think we've ever seen adapted, um, at least in terms of the cover. Super good of like, 
let's split up the factions you know with the actual intestines so good bro but then you you know you have the different um the, the santa faction which is actually the same the brothers quan chi so good at this point i didn't notice this it probably is happening throughout the other volumes but like fujimoto starting to do the thing or his his art style at the very least is starting to do the thing where like his his outlines the black outlines they actually just either become a different color like here on on santa's face or they just disappear altogether and have that kind of lineless quality it's so good it, it's that part i'm gonna keep bringing up because it gets he keeps doing it and it keeps getting better and it becomes god tier like so to the point where i actually did not appreciate that art style until i saw fujimoto doing it and i was like this is this is the best style like whenever he, he busts out a color page and it's it's got like this lineless quality to it or like only some of the outlines become a different color i don't know why but it's so appealing um in terms of the actual volume color i don't uh, i think this is like the one time where the saturation the oh like i think it's just a little oversaturated like this is such a such a strong pr purple pink but in terms of the motif very 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 good like you cannot you cannot deny how in how like cleverly you know he's able to depict what what goes on in this volume and then you know the symbolism of like it's good symbolism this this is a good volume this is a good volume cover i certainly like it more than six two and three do I and I but I don't think I like it more than like how striking and and flagship the first volume cover is. So I'm gonna put it behind volume one. Once again, volume eight, Chainsaw Man, Tatsuki Fujimoto. He he different, bro. <laughs> He's different. This is this is a beautiful mess. I love this. I love the colors. I love just the confusion. I love that if you pulled this up. You, this would be unlike anything else that would be right next to it like on the on the Tuesday when this arrives and then you got your slot of like isekai or uh, whatever shonen other things are being dropped at the same time and maybe a couple of seinen even some of the seinen won't look this cool and just like this is so unkempt this is so messy once again how do we sidestep the ultra violence depicted in the series just make everything look like fruity pebbles it's it's such a good idea i hope they do it i'm gonna keep saying it but i hope they do it this is just like another action pose and it's so good yeah there's really there's really not too much more to say i think i like in uh, there's in terms of the groupings like you could subgroup these volume eight and volume five for example which are like action pose chainsaw man and then volume one is action pose chainsaw man i think i like i like the colors the pose the idea that there's two chainsaw mans or chainsaw people or i mean uh hybrid people i like this more than volume one um and if you know if quan chi or like if the series was restructured in a way where there was like two hybrids shown in volume one um i would gladly accept this as a volume one like this is this is as striking to me as the volume and then this is as striking to me as volume one is um, and as volume five is so I think I'm gonna put it higher up okay super weird that I can't like add the volume eight but it would be it would be behind volume one um, probably because of the content I don't know I don't know I'm not smart enough to figure that out but just imagine that it's there just imagine that volume eight is certainly behind volume one or maybe I think I'd put it I'd put it in front of volume one so I don't know why it's not showing up but um, I don't have time to figure it out nor brain cells so volume eight is in front of volume one volume nine man this is such a sad volume <laughs> the stuff that's in this volume i assume is like man this is uh this is big sad man fujimoto's at this point like removing the outlines from the character's face or sometimes it'll be a different color sometimes the inside lines will be a different color i don't know if, if no one cares about what i just said that's fine but for me I don't like I said the reason I love his art style so much is because it's so there's like a softness to the covers and the color pages that just is absolutely absent from the actual content within the manga um, in terms of like what's actually shown on the cover I love I love the colors 
I love Angel's kind of warm contrast, uh, Baby Aki's contrast. Not, I don't think as striking uh, or as Chainsaw Man striking as the, the, uh, the other S tier covers, but certainly just based off of like composition, improvement of the style he's doing, and just like the visual, the visual impact. I think I like it way more than volumes two and three and six, but less than seven. Put that there. Wait, was that volume nine? That was volume nine already? Jesus, because volume 10 is a, this is a knockout. At this point in the series, you're either, you're either barely hanging on for your life or you've just checked out and you're like, Fujimoto, take me where we need to go because um, this this is phenomenal. This is so unlike anything I think I own cover-wise. Like, I can't even think of anything that's so absent. Like, it's this is this is not even colored. Like, Makima is not colored here. Oh, Jigo Karaku is very much like this. The covers on there are like. Um, he's gone for that type of uh, that type of sexy gray that Ishida Sway, who did Tokyo Ghoul, he, he mentions it. Kind of like the absence of um, like proper skin color. It's kind of appealing, and uh, it certainly works for Makima. Like this kind of inhumane um, visage of a human being who's just like pointing. He's po she's pointing at you. She's pointing at me. She's pointing at the person she murdered in that volume. So good. And I love like. Once again, how vibrant the red and it, it, its contrast. I don't know anything about colors, but like everything about this volume is very much working for me. Um, let's see. Yeah, see like the almost the complete absence of actual outlines. There's the outline. It just decided to fuck it, fuck. Remove it over here. The suggestion of the fold just by like a little splotch of some darker color. It's just great. This certainly... Like, I know that w whatever was happening in that volume and, like, when I receive it and everything that will be, you know, Chainsaw on the anime will actually be happening by the time we get volume 10, likely. Yeah, like, for sure. It's just going to be, everything will be perfectly in line for me to be like, yep, I love this volume. I love everything about it. I love Chainsaw Man. Volume 11. The drip cover, bro. There's nothing cooler than this cover. Okay, Denji? Denji went from eating garbage. He went from one of his like most infamous memories being he actually ate vomit to survive to he's like he's defeated the final villain. No the final villain didn't even acknowledge his existence as like a respectable human being. He's got responsibilities. He's got he's got drip. He's just where he went from in the series like I did not give a shit about Denji in the first volume he was certainly someone who you know was like a like a perfectly good vessel for which to experience the story but by the end of it Denji's like the best like Denji's so he's 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 such a different character than you would expect from a shonen jump series and it's it's great it's great to see his progression not only from like there's not really a volume cover representing Denji that well, like I don't think so. Um, in terms of his progression, like at this point in volume seven, he's kind of just like in the story. It just things are happening to Denji and whether or not he wants to like deal with it or not. But I don't think he was particularly that sad or whatever. But by volume 11, like, yeah, I think he, he definitely has that type of like... Um, I just got to do what I got to do and I appreciate I appreciate the type of maturity in my stories about guys who previously ate vomit and now have child rearing responsibilities I respect that in terms of the actual like contents of the cover just fucking phenomenal bro I think someone not me but like someone who had a brain made the connection of Oh, like volume 10 is Makima pointing at Denji and I, I don't even care if that's not true because it's so good <laughs> like, like if Makima's pointing like I'm about to murder you which you know if we're actually thinking about it probably not the case considering what happened in the volume but I like the idea of Makima pointing at Denji and Denji's just hitting her with like this kind of like do it I dare you type of pose it, it's just it's just great and then the evolution of like 
it's almost like I don't know what you would call that painterly oil painterly style removing the outlines sometimes the, the inside lines are, are a different color like this this style is certainly going to be mimicked by everybody <laughs> including me going forward and it's because it's just the best and I love it and then to kind of like I don't even know what you know the 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 goodness the creativity of the, all these extra colors um, what is this like a filthy bathroom whatever it doesn't matter Denji's the best I love this I love this series if you had shown me volume one and been like man this like almost Godzilla-esque oh he's I didn't even see he's like stepping on actual zombies like this Godzilla-esque I would uh, Godzilla-esque triple chainsaw wielding monstrosity rising up from like alien blood or zombie blood and you had told me like oh yeah this story goes from here to like here I would have been like you are what I need to know I need to know what happens in this story and I think that I think everything about the volume covers encapsulates that idea that journey and it's just so visually striking and in comparison to everything that would be surrounding it in a bookstore or on someone's shelf um, and you know just the evolution of the style and how much I enjoy everything about the series especially at this point um, definitely got to put this definitely got to put this uh, number one I I love that image that Fujimoto is so good at creating like imagery that will burn into your mind very like Evangelion-esque and um, this cover is so good at that all the S tier covers are really good at you know these are striking visual images that you will you will remember for like eternity like volume four and five and one and so forth so I think that's where I'm gonna leave it I think it goes 11 10 5 4 1 8 7 9 6 2 3 I don't hate any of the covers mind you like all these are good but uh, for me there are some that are just excellent and incredible what are your opinions I'm gonna do some more of these I think if anyone watched this I'll do some more because I really love gushing about Chainsaw Man I think it's one of those series that like if you if you just kind of experience it you, you'll get it either you get it and it becomes something that you'll fondly remember for many many years or you're like eh, it's not for me and it's fine if it's not for you but it is for me and this is fantastic so thank you guys for listening Goodbye.